Have you had the feeling lately that you're being watched while you're working remotely? Well, it may be an indication that something has been installed on your system to track what you're doing. Here are eight detectable signs that you're being monitored as an employee without your consent by your employer. Number one, slow computer performance. Now the decrease in computer operational speed usually implies some kind of unrecognized activity that may cause your system to lag and such a slowdown can be a sign that someone is monitoring you and tracking your activities. Number two, unknown programs installed. Now you may have noticed some computer processes happening without your awareness. This could be a signal that someone is tracking your remote work with the help of unfamiliar applications, programs, or toolbars. They're running in the background and hinder your computer's performance. And the most common applications of that type are SpectreSoft and Terramind. Number three, productivity applications. These can boost efficiency if used properly. However, if your employer uses them for constant monitoring, it may compromise your privacy. Number four, webcam light activated. When the light on your webcam switches on unexpectedly, your camera may be in use and this is a sign of unauthorized video monitoring. Number five, unexplained network activity. Your employer may use keyloggers or monitoring software that makes your computer display unexplained network activity. You are being monitored if you notice high data downloads or uploads when you are not working on the net. Number six, access to your computer screen. If your employer asks you for access to your computer screen for reasons that are unrelated to teamwork, they may be planning on invasive monitoring. Number seven, tracking social network activities. Many managers and HRs are almost sure that they are allowed to track your activities on social media without your consent. This is a rude violation of your privacy, so you'll need to talk to your boss straightforwardly about the legal consequences of such overreaching surveillance. Number eight, unexpected pop-ups. If there are random pop-up windows on your computer containing notifications or messages from hidden sources, you may be sure that your boss is tracking your activity. All in all, employers have to know that such actions are not legal and they don't add much to their remote workers' efficiency. The legalities of workplace monitoring, though, may differ from country to country, so you do need to check your local regulations for more details. In the meantime, here is more information on some invasive employee monitoring software that you should be aware of. Now, TerraMind tracks everything you do on your computer from your screen to your email. It can also record your keystrokes and your Zoom sessions. Your employer can watch what you're doing in real time or review the recordings later. Variato's cerebral software that uses artificial intelligence to analyze your activity and measure your engagement also takes video snapshots of your screen and pairs them with your keystrokes. It also monitors how productive you are and how much you spend time on distracting activities. Another software is Hubstaff. Hubstaff tracks how much time you spend on your task and records your activity levels. It also logs your mouse movements, keystrokes, URLs, and apps. It can also track your location through geolocation features if you use a mobile device. Then there's Staff Cop Enterprise. Now this software provides a comprehensive framework for surveillance, data collection, and reporting. It can record audio and video from your computer, control your remote desktop, capture images from your webcam, and extract text from screenshots and documents. 
Spizy, which is, as the name indicates, spies on you with software that tracks your activity and your location through your smartphone. Your employer can see where you are and what you're doing, where you're going during your work hours, including any stops or detours that you may make along the way. And finally, there's clever control. Clever control as the keyword here is control. This software not only monitors how long you are active on your keyboard, but it also allows your employer to secretly activate your camera and microphone to record your surroundings. It can also log your keystrokes and capture images of your screen. Now, one way to detect if workplace spying and monitoring is going on is to check your task manager and your activity monitor. Look for unfamiliar active processes. This is a good place to start as most spyware tools will need to run in the background to monitor your activities. You can access the task manager on Windows by pressing Control, Alt, Delete, and selecting Task Manager. You can also access your activity monitor on Mac by pressing command and space and typing activity monitor. You'll be able to see a list of processes that are running on your computer. You can look for any processes that you don't recognize or that have a high CPU or memory usage. You can right click on any process and select search online to get more information about it on Windows or you can double click on any process and select open files and ports to see what files and network connections it is using on Mac. You can also check for unfamiliar or unknown installed software. Now some spyware tools may install themselves as applications on your computer which can find which you can find in the list of installed programs or applications. You can access this list on Windows by going to your start menu then settings then apps. You can also access it on a Mac by going to finder then applications. You can look for any app that you don't remember installing or that has a suspicious name or publisher. Also, check the system tray icons. Some spyware tools may show themselves as icons in your system tray, which is the area at the bottom right corner of your screen on Windows or the type top right corner of your screen on Mac. You can hover over or click on any icon to see its name and status. You can look for any icon that you don't recognize or that looks suspicious. Then you can right click on any icon and select exit or disable to stop it from running on Windows or hold down the command key and drag any icon out of the menu bar to stop it from running on a Mac.